<clears throat> thank you for the wisdom that you have given unto us and that you have given us access to that we might look, continue, look continually into your word, yes. drawing nearer unto you, learning of you. Thank you, Father, for that. That's, that is so, so precious to us to learn of you. Thank you for this time. And Lord, I, I look to you right now to open up our understanding and, and speak to us, Father, words of wisdom and, and of understanding so that we can continue to excel. Your purpose will be fulfilled as we follow through in obeying you. And we thank you for being a part of that. We just bless you today, Father. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. You can be seated, if you will. Praise God. Well, good morning. Good morning. Uh, praise God. I'm, uh, <clears throat> the will of, will of the Father is being accomplished in the earth. Yes. And uh, I, I, I just... I want to I want to I want to show you and I want to talk about the reality of 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 our relationship. Now now we'll, the lesson is, is entitled New Life in Christ, <clears throat> but it entails so much. This new life in Christ entails so much. It it there is the revelation of the will of God that has been made known unto us. And, and everything comes through his word. God's word reveals everything to us. And, and I know for me, I, I like, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a simple person. I don't, I don't try to, I don't, want, I don't like complicated things. Simple. And, and you know, I, I kind of believe God's that way. Because he don't make things complicated for us. He makes it. He makes it simple for us. And so, uh, I, I, you know, I, I understand what God wants. Yeah. I, I understand what what He wants, and and He has made that known to us. Uh, you know, when you're reading the Word of God, and sometimes you know you ever you ever read the Word and and you hear something, yeah. and you you hear it, you, you know exactly what He said. And I, and I have found this over in Numbers, and I've shared it with you before, and I, it's because it's just so, it's so imprinted in my heart. I, I know what God wants. He said, oh, come on, where are you, you a little, who are you, who are you? Well, I heard him. I just heard him, and you know, come on, just <laughs> like, like I can read, I can hear. And I heard, I know what God wants, as, as awesome as he is, as wonderful as he is, you can't capture him with your, you know, you can't capture God. He's too big. But I know what he wants. I know what God wants. In respect to, to us, in respect to this world, you know, I, I know, I know, because I heard him. And it's revealed. See, it's revealed unto us. And, and, and it's revealed over there in, in, the, in, in, in Numbers 20, number, Numbers 14, and, and 20, 21, particularly the 21. He, 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 I found out what God wants. And, and here is a, here is a in the situation here is that if you read the entire text, you'll see that that Moses had interceded because Israel was acting up, and Moses had interceded for them, and God said, I'm going to kill them. So Moses said, don't, don't kill them, so don't, don't kill them. Amen. Amen. And if you read that, he'll show you why. But he said, you know, so, so God listened to Moses. He said, okay, I'm not going to kill them. In fact, I'll pick up at the 21st. Then the Lord said, I have pardoned according to your words. See, he said, okay, okay, I'm listening to you, Moses. I have pardoned according to your word, but, and this is what I heard, truly as I live, all the earth shall be filled with the glory of the Lord. Yeah. I heard that. 
I, I heard that. I heard it. I know what he wants. In other words, everything, you know, everything that God's, God's he's, 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 he's moving forward to do that. And, 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 and the devil on every side, and, you know, through Israel, you know, they just, they, he's just, just trying to hinder it. But it's not going, it ain't going to happen. I'm going to get this done. Amen. You know, if it hell lifts Bear Creek, I'm getting it done. Amen. It's going to be done. I don't, don't tell me how long it takes. Don't tell me about no time. I'm going to get it done. The earth is going to be filled with my glory. Amen. And I know that's, what's, that's, that's the ultimate. That's the will of God is to fill this earth with his glory. Mm -hmm. And so now when it comes to me, now, what, what, so, so what's your part? My part is to do whatever I can to assist in that process. Amen. When you see things in that light, so, it's so, to me it's so simple. Everything that I do should be in line with the fulfillment of that desire of God. Mm -hmm. And so if, if I'm acting like a fool, well, now you're working against me. You know, I don't want that. Come on. Uh -huh. You know, if I'm, if, I'm, if I'm, you know, just doing stupid stuff and, and that, you're working against me. Well, I don't want to do that. I don't want to work against God. If I don't, if I don't treat people right, well, I'm working against him. Mm -hmm. If I don't love people, then I'm working against him. Yeah. If I'm walking around looking like somebody, I'm acting, like, acting like a crazy man, I'm working against him. Yeah. No, that's not what he wants. He, he, he was going to kill a bunch one time for doing that, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? But, he, but Moses interceded, but, he, but so, so I know it. So what do I do? Everything that I want to do, I just want to plead. I want to be in agreement in, 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 in assisting whatever part that the Father has for me yes. to help to do that. Yes, right. Yes, right. I want to do my part. And, and it, oh, it makes my job so easy. Every day, I sleep so good at night. Wake up in the morning, fresh as a daisy, just going out, doing, at it again. Just all I'm, out, all I'm doing is just loving people, helping to fill the earth with the glory of God. Mm. I know God is love. Yeah. And I know one thing. He said, you know, love one another. Love one another. And be, I, that, that's, that, that's doing it. That's doing it. Can you watch this? Watch this. Watch this. Think. Think. If everybody on the earth right now loved everybody, It would be over. Think about it. I, I like to think about that. If everybody on the earth loved everybody, it would be over. Amen. Wow. He said, man, it's so, so, so what do I do? I said, okay, I'll be one to do that. So I just raised my hand to tell God, okay, I raised my hand. Because you know the Bible said, the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong in behalf of those whose heart is to, uh, uh, perfect toward him. So I raised my hand. I said, okay, I will be one to love everybody. Amen. So well, God's, well, that's one. Can I get another one? Amen. 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 And it's, every, every time one is added to that list, well, I, I choose. That's my choice. Can you see how we can, do you see how simple we can get this done? Now, the church is supposed to be leading this charge. Come on, come on. The church, they're leading this charge. Mm -hmm. yes. We have raised our hands. Yes. And so everything that we do is geared toward filling the earth with God's glory. Yes. Yes. Man, that'll drive every mean out of you that was ever in you. That will drive every harsh word out of your mouth. Yes, that will drive every strife out of your thoughts. Yes, because I, every day I get up, I, every day, God. See, that's one of that's why prayer is so important. Yes. You know, when I get ready, when I get up every day, I reinforce my desires mm. before God. Come on. Oh yeah. Lord, yeah. dear. I reinforce my desires. When we gather here in this place every day, every day we, we, meet, we, we meet in this place. Now, you, 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 you do, if you have that at home, fine. You have to get on your face before God do this. But, but every, every morning, every morning, that's the spirit of this ministry, the spirit of this ministry. So I'm here every morning. We're here every day reinforcing 
our commitment to love everybody. So what, what does that do? So you don't forget. I don't get so caught up out there in this world system and fooling around, hanging around with the devil because you don't have to be no devil. You just hang around where the devil's hanging around at and you'll get like him. You don't have to be one. You just stay out there with him all the time. <laughs> You're going to be talking to that and just like him. So what do I do? So how, what do I do to fix that? I get before God daily and reinforce my desire to love everybody. Amen. I mean, you, know, you see, you, you get out there doing that with Jesus every day. You, it's hard to get out there in the world. It's hard to be mean. You, you, every day, every day, you, you just before God, we all, oh God, I want to do it. I want to, I want to do this. I'm in agreement with you. I want to get the earth filled with your glory. What, what, what do you want me to do today? What do you want me to do today? And when you reinforce that every day, you know, I'm telling you, it's going to do something for you. You know, number one, you don't have time to see trash. You don't have time to see all the stuff. You don't even see it. I don't even see it. I don't even see it. I don't have time. Amen. Every day, every day, every day. So, so consider your prayer time. Consider that a time to reinforce Amen. what you have chosen to do. Amen. I've chosen to fill the earth with God's glory. Amen. I've chosen, I've chosen Jesus. I have chosen to live this way. I've chosen to love every God. I love everybody. I love you with all my heart, and I love everybody. Amen. Amen. I made that decision. And every day, I reinforce that. Mm -hmm. I reinforce that. I reinforce that. There, you, there's no effort in this, you know. There's no human effort in loving people. The power of God is working in you. Mm -hmm. You'll get to a point where, dear God, you walk in a room, dear God, it changes. The atmosphere of that room will change. Yes. I know it's the truth because yes. it happens with me all the time. We walked in the shower, we walked in the studio, we walked in the wild this morning, and we shifted the whole atmosphere of that place. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow! Yeah. They say, yeah! Oh, yeah. I love it. I do it on purpose. Yeah. I walk in a room, I shift the atmosphere yeah. immediately. We just can't, yeah. well, God just walked in there. <laughs> the earth, the earth is being filled with the glory of God. Now, can't you see, when you get to thinking like this, can't you see why you don't have time for all this trash and mad foolishness? Yeah. You don't even see it. <laughs> you don't even see it. You say, did you see it? No, I didn't. I didn't see it. I don't know nothing about it. Uh, good, I don't have time. I don't have time to see that. Come on. I, don't want to, I don't even want to look at the devil. I don't want to see him. Come on. Keep looking at Jesus. Not that he's not out there. I don't see him. Why you don't see it? Because my eyes locked on Jesus. I'm so focused on I want this to be done. I want this. To, I want it. God, God, I know this is what he wants. I know, this, I know this is what he wants. You know, I understand conformity to authority. I remember when I was a, I was a kid, I was a youngster. I come out of a big family, you know. And uh, I was, I was, I'm one from, the, I'm near the bottom. It was 10 of us, and uh, I was there at the bottom. And I was like, I'm the third from the youngest. And, uh, but I had a lot of older brothers and sisters that were older than me. So the older ones, uh, you know, the, you know, the older ones, they all, they, they're bigger than me. And they, they out, they grow up and they, they go out at night and all that, you know. So, you know, you know, mother, you, you're a mother. So when the kids are out, the mother's not sleep, you know. <laughs> and uh, the mother's, the mother's worrying, waiting for them kids to come home, mm -hmm. you know. And, uh, and I remember as a kid, I remember this. And I knew, I knew my, when, they, when they big ones, when they be out, when they be out, you know, in the night, it, uh, and I knew my mother's awake, and I would be awake too with her. Yeah. I felt what she felt. Yeah. I don't know, I, I don't know. I, I, was, I was like that. I don't know. I don't know if any other kids were like that, but I, I would say, I would lay there, I would lay, be wide awake, mm -hmm. waiting for my older siblings to come home. Because yeah. I know mom downstairs, well, she was just waiting for them before she go to sleep. She'll wait for them. And I just, and I knew what she wanted, and I wanted what she wanted. Yes. And I would just lay up there and just worry and wait for, wait, for them, wait for them to come home. And then when they come home, I could go to sleep. <laughs> so I, I, I understand, I understand the conformity to authority over you. And so I know what God wants. God wants you to love people. I want you to love people. 
God wants the earth to be filled with his glory. I want that. So I want, just, I want the same thing that he wants. And I, I, got, I know it's right because I understand his word. I, I, when, I, when I see people fighting, it, it just it, it, it makes me sad. When I see people cursing and, 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 at, and, at, and at odds with one another, you know, yelling and screaming and all of that, it, it makes me so sad. Yeah. I don't even know them. Amen. But it saddens me because I say, oh, that's not what Father wants. Right. When I see people doing stupid stuff, it saddens me because I know Father doesn't want that. Right. Mm. He wants us to love one another. And he wants the earth to be filled with his glory. Right. See? And so, I, so, I don't, so when I see people, at, you know, fighting and snapping mm. and, and yee, oh, I don't like that. Yeah. Because that father doesn't like it. Mm. You know, why should I snap at you? Why can't I be gentle with you? Mm. Be kind to you. That's filling the earth with God's glory. That's contagious because that's what Father wants. That's what this new life produces yes, in us. Yes, this new, and you grow in this. Mm -hmm. you, it, you, you, know, you grow in it and it just keeps expanding you. It keeps expanding in you. It's called growing in the grace and in the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are destined to be conformed to his image. Yes. We are set, our course has been set mm -hmm. to be conformed, to be just like Jesus. And we grow in that daily. Ephesians 2, 1 says, And you he made alive who were dead in trespasses and sins. You were separated from me, but I have made you alive through Jesus Christ. Verse 2 says, in which you also, in, in which you once walked according to the course of this world. You was like the world. You were like, you were like them. But I've changed you. In which you once walked according to the course of this world. According to the prince of the power of the air. That's the devil. Uh -huh. I used to be lucky, man. I used to hang out with him. He's a bad road partner. You don't want to hang out with him no more. I, I, got, I found out who he was, and I got away from him. Amen. Man, he had me in a tailspin. Amen. I mean, I, he had me, dear God, he was taking me out. He was taking me down. And he acted like he was a friend, you know. Mm. He wasn't my friend. You're trying to kill me. He tricked me. And God had mercy on me. He God said, well, you, you know, you say you were just like him, you know. He said, in which you once walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince, see the world system and the prince of this world, they're the same. See, you were out there acting like the world, you know, under the prince of the world. The devil is a liar, and he tells lies, and he, 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 he'll act like, he said, he said I'm going to give you something. No, he's not. he's not. He's not giving you anything. He's tricking you. Mm -hmm. See, he don't like you. See, he hates you because you look like God. He don't like you. So he tried to, de he tried to degrade you. He degrades you. He reduces the, your values mm. because he don't like you. Amen. See, but he'll tell you, I'm giving you something. No, he's not. He's taken away from you. He's taken your worth, your value away. Mm -hmm. He said, you used to walk like that according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air. The spirit who now works in the sons of disobedience. People that have not obeyed the gospel, they are operating in this. And Satan is manipulating them. Now, what our job is to do, our job is to overwhelm them with God's love. Yes. Amen. See, this love that's in us. See, now, he, he didn't say, now you yell at them and get mad at them. No, 
forward. That's wrong. He didn't yell at you and get mad at you. It's the goodness of God that brings men to repentance. Didn't you read that? Now, we, we do this a lot, don't even realize it. We, we see people doing stuff, and we talk about them. Shut up. Because you know, when you talk about people, did you know what that's a demonstration of? Your own insecurity. When you talk about people, say an ugly thing about people, it's a display, display of your own insecurity. Because you, you can say something negative about somebody else and makes you feel better about you. I don't do that. Uh-huh. You do worse. No, don't do that. Didn't you read God commended his love toward us while we were yet sinners? Christ died. So how dare you? Because we'll talk about people and justify it. No. No. Don't do that. God didn't do that to you. He wants to salvage you. You talking about them not helping them? You're trying to get them from over there. You're going to love them. Uh -huh. You say, what? what? Don't, be, don't be all that. Look, that's what he did for you. Amen. God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them. Amen. And he has given us the ministry of reconciliation so we could go to do the same to other people. Amen. So stop talking about people. Don't magnify what they're doing. Defume it. Reduce it yes. by not saying anything yes. about it. Here's a good one. If you don't say something good about someone, don't say anything. And that'll, that'll cut your talking down to about, that'll cut your talking way down. At least in half. <laughs> but if you're not gonna say something good, mm -hmm. see you gotta see you gotta practice that. You, you you make a decision to do that, and you practice that, and then as you practice it, then you'll develop and grow into that. That won't happen overnight. You decide to do it today, you can still be talking about somebody tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But you but if you keep doing, you keep developing in that. You'll grow and develop and grow into that. See, this is all growth, growing in the grace and knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. This new life that we have in Christ is a life that we grow into. See? Amen. We make the right choices, giving ourselves unto the word of God, and we grow and develop into this. So don't, don't beat yourself up just because, you know, if you do something stupid, don't beat yourself up. Amen. Just, just, you know, just start all over. Uh, yeah. See? But, 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 but you, I, I think the best person for us, in fact, I know. The best person for us to start with is with ourselves. Mm -hmm. See, so just don't be careful with your mouth. The, the Proverbs talk a lot about the mouth, you know. That's right. The mouth, you know, death and life is in the power of the tongue. Yes. That's right. Amen. You know, and they that love you shall eat the fruits thereof. You, you'll have what you say. I mean, if you, if your, if your tongue is all twisted up and you're getting sweet and bitter water out of the same fountain, that's going to be messy for a while. You don't want that. So, so make, a, make a decision. Make a decision. Here's a good decision to make. Make a decision. Don't, don't talk negative about people. You know what I mean? And, don't, 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 and, and just love people. Don't, don't make a decision not to talk negative about people. Amen. And not to be, talk harshly to people. See, so you make a decision to do that. Now, you go, now, if you've been used to doing that, you're going to still do it. But you're going to be, Holy Spirit is going to wire you up every time you used to do it. Mm -hmm. And going to make you aware of it so you can shut it down. But just saying you're not going to do it, not going to, not going to stop you from doing it because you've been doing it all your life. Talking about everything negative you see, you've got to repeat it. That keeps it alive. Yeah. Here's a good one. Do you have to say something every time you see something wrong? Watch this. Here's a good one. You're sitting there, you know what I mean, and a guy run right through the red light. Can you keep your mouth shut and not say anything? No, 
sometimes, sometimes you got to so you got to train you, you know. He's driving, uh, you know, got get over the line. You don't, can you, can you just watch can, and not say anything? Don't say a word. Just trust yourself. Trust yourself. You, you, you'll see where you are. See how you can, see how you can see things and not say anything. Because number one, number one, you, you don't even know the guy. The guy don't even know you. He don't know what you said. So you didn't help him any by saying anything. All you did was maintain your own stability where you are. Because that's just the way you are. Your mouth goes like a bell clap. And, you, and, you, and you, you're still doing it. Well, you know, do you ever plan to change? Well, if you better, if, you, if you ever you're going to change, you're going to have to get to a point where you're going to have to keep your mouth shut. Read Proverbs. Okay, we'll go back and read the book of Proverbs. It talks a lot about that mouth. Yeah, it talks a lot about the mouth. I heard somebody said, one of the psalmists said, put a watch over my mouth. Dear God, God put a guard on my mouth. Mm. Yeah. You know, it's the little things that we train ourselves in because all of this is developing into aiding in the process of filling the earth with God's glory because I know what he wants. See, it's, it's everybody doing a little bit that's going to get it done. See, and you might think, oh, that didn't hurt much. Okay, let's look at, some, look at your physical body. You know how many cells to send your body? You, know, you, you can't count them. Well, if each cell is in its rightful place, functioning the way that it should be, you got a healthy body. Amen. Right? But supposing you got cells that's out of place. <laughs> moving one going out, out, out of whack, you know, what's gonna happen? You're gonna have a sick body. Yeah. You get enough of cells going in the wrong direction. You got a problem. I mean that's something physical. You can you can know you can know that. But what if all of your cells in your body uh -huh. is in line, functioning, doing exactly what they're supposed to do? You got a wonderful, healthy body. Come on. Come on. When you, you know, you say, oh, I just, I'm just one person. I just said one thing negative. Well, oh, you get enough of them saying it. Oh. See how you contribute it to the negative part? And then you're slowing down the process of filling the earth with God's glory. But when you make it a practice of everything that you do is in line with Father, you go to bed at night thinking, oh, dear God, I, I just, I've done what I'm supposed to do to assist in filling the earth with the glory of God. See, if, if I do negative things, if I'm walking in the fulfillment of the fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, then I'm working against God. See, look at the third verse. Among whom also we all once, once conducted ourselves in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature children of wrath. Children of wrath is not in agreement with God, filling the earth with his glory. Mm. Well, I'm not like, I used to be that way. Before I got saved, I was that way. But now I'm on God's side. I want to work with him in filling the earth with the glory of God. Yeah. I want to work with him in loving people. See, when I love people, I'm in the perfect will of God. Yeah. Yeah. Love them right where they are. Stop trying to ch change people with your mouth. On. Number one, it's not going to happen. Yeah. You're, only putting, you're only retarding the process. When you're saying negative things about people, you're retarding the process. But if you're walking in love, you are advancing the process. Everything you do, see, is part of the process one way or the other. So just, so just 
Walking in love, walking in love, walking in love. I tell you, you can't beat that. If you can, well, Paul said it this way. He said, all the law hangs on one word. Mm. To love your neighbor as yourself. Yes. I love, I love, I want to say, love the Lord your God with all your heart. I love my father. Yes. I love Jesus. Mm -hmm. Oh, what Jesus did for us. Dear God, I was talking, we were talking about that this morning. Oh, what he did for us. Dear God, the love that Jesus demonstrated toward us. And now we are the recipients of that love, and now we are walking and we are demonstrating that love in the earth by loving people. Loving people. Loving people. We have one person to manage. Yourself. God didn't get, you know, don't, don't stop trying to manage other people. You're not, you're not, it wasn't God to tell you to manage nobody else. In fact, you take care of you, your day is full. Amen. Choose to walk in love. You got to, you know, be conscious of your mouth. Because mm -hmm. that's, 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 that can be your worst downfall. Be conscious of your mouth. Let your mouth be in line with the will of the Father. To fill the earth with his glory. See, just, just, you know, in fact, you know, you, you kind of stop talking. And if you're not saying something that's conducive to filling the earth with the glory of God, don't say anything. You can be quiet. It's better to be quiet than to just run off and say things that's working against the process. But God, who is rich in mercy, because of his great love with which he loved us. Isn't it amazing? Oh, he, he just talks about love. That's what he is. God is love. Yeah. But God who is rich in mercy, mm -hmm. huh, because of his great love. You know what God's desire is? Another one of his is to, is to bring us back to where we were. His desire is to bring us back. Oh. Now, I'm going to show you something here, and it's a little, it's a little deep, but you, you keep, pull your boots up and tighten them up. You can, you, you won't, your feet won't get wet. I'm going to go back to uh, Genesis here, because you're going to say, well, what is God? What, what is this? What does God say? What is it with his, his riches and all this love and with his great love and all of this God with his riches and mercies and great love? Because that's what he has for us, because that's what he was when he made us. That's what he made us to be. He made us in his image and in his likeness. He made us in perfect love. Yes, and we were. And we, we goofed. We goofed in perfect love. Now, I'm going to show you something. That's really, it's re this is really powerful, so take your time. Just, just don't rush it. I'm going to show you something here. It's right in the Word. Now, now look, at, look, at, look here. At the, uh, look at Look at the... Genesis chapter 2, and let's pick up at the 15th verse. Genesis 2, 15. Then the Lord God took the man and put him into the garden of Eden to tend and keep it. Now, 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 look at, watch this. At this point, when God put Adam and Eve in the garden, they knew nothing about right, wrong, good, evil. So, th if, you can, if you can imagine knowing nothing about right and wrong, good and evil, what does that make you? Innocent. Amen. Totally innocent. Anything you do, do is fine. There's no right, there's no wrong. Mm -hmm. now, and I, I know that with this mind we now have, it's hard to figure that. Because we have a mind now that's conditioned to right and wrong. And it's hard to imagine no right and no wrong, no good and no evil. Mm -hmm. It's hard to imagine that because, you're, because your mind has been contaminated with good and evil. That's right. But when God put them in the garden, there was no contamination of good and evil. Amen. Now, now, that's here's the best way to see that. M many of you ladies have had babies, right? Remember when the baby was just an infant? Mm -hmm. Totally innocent. Right, wrong, no, no, no right, wrong, no nothing, just totally innocent. Anything that that child did was fine. Well, that's the way you were. 
You know, no, no, no baby, little baby that not, not, ain't got on a stitch. Don't make no difference. Mm -hmm. Whether you got clothes on or not clothes on. No baby, no, but the kid makes them no difference. Could care less. Mm -hmm. Innocent. Well, that's the way we were. That's the way Adam and Eve was when you forgot to put them in the garden. Mm -hmm. Now, that, you, you got really, you got really, this in your mind, even just to, uh, to imagine that, because we are so right, wrong, conscious. Well, guess what? God wanted you to stay that way. Yes. Wow. He put them in the garden. He wanted them to stay that way. Yes. 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 They get it. And the Lord God comes, verse 16, and, and the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden you may freely eat, but, verse 17, mm. of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you shall not eat. Don't eat it. Amen. Don't. Now, now, really, you got to really think about that because I'm telling you, that's something that we know nothing about. Everything we know is either right, wrong, good, evil, good, or bad. Mm -hmm. but, but, but before, there was no such thing as that. I say that to help us to see what happened in the garden. Yes, sir. See, it, see, it wasn't a, well, well, Adam did something wrong. Well, it, it wasn't, wasn't, wasn't no wrong. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? See, I know this is hard on the mind. This is hard on the mind. No. But it's the truth. Yes, it is. See. Yes, it is. So what did Adam do? What did action did Adam do? Well, he found out more than he should have found out. Yeah. Because now once you know something, now you're responsible to it. And that's when it all happened. That's when it happened. He, he was innocent. He don't, it, it makes no difference. It makes no difference what he does. Oh, God, that is so, that is so amazing. But now once you find out good and bad, now you have to do it. If there is no law, you can't break a law. If there is no law, you can't break a law. Right? There is no law. Well, see, actually, that's what has happened. Now, I know this, I told this is a little thick, but I, that's what Jesus did. Jesus came and removed the right and wrong. Now I know, I know that's that's I, uh, listen, listen. No, I know that's tough. I know that's tough on the head, but I'm just giving it to you. Mm -hmm. Jesus actually, cause, okay, okay. Would, would you well, would you agree to this? Did Jesus make to correct what Adam made did did uh, messed up? Yes. What did Adam do? He found out about right and wrong. Come on. Come on. That's what he did. That's, that's that you can't you can't deny that. He partook of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Yeah. So now you know good and evil. Yeah. Well, how do you fix that? You erase it. Well, actually, you can't erase it. You can't erase it. That's why you have to make you over. Yes. That's why you have to get born, born again. again. Uh. Can, you, can, you, can you receive that? Amen. Je Jesus come on to say that he just said, well, let's fix this old guy. No, you can't fix him. Because now that he know, now he knows it. But watch this. Now you got to get born again, and you got to grow out of this. You got to develop and grow out of right and wrong. Amen. Amen. Back into innocence. Good. You can do it because now you're a new creature in Christ. The old man, you can't make, you can't fix the body. You can't fix the flesh. It ain't going anywhere. You can't fix it. You cannot fix it. You crucify it. When the, the, the language that the Bible uses about crucifying the flesh, what is he talking about? Crucifying the old you, the yeah. old you. The, the Bible talks about the old man uh -huh. and the new man, right? Yeah. Who's the old man? The old man that knows about right and wrong. The new man could kill us. There's no, there's no right and wrong for him. Amen. Amen. Oh, boy. Now we're getting far. Now we're going somewhere. Mm. I'm a new creature in Christ. <laughs> this is the new life that I have. Yeah. The new life in Christ, there is no... Right, wrong. Mm. 
Well, let me ask you this. Is there right and wrong? Let's say, okay, is there right and wrong in heaven? No. Come on. No. It can't be. No, no. How can it be right and wrong if God is love? God is not love and he is bad. He is good and bad. God is good. He is life. He is love. He is, that's what he is. So how is that? There's no, there's no, but, but now, but now Jesus told us about this other guy. He is on, the, the devil is on the other side. There is no truth in him. No. He is a lie. Yeah. Yeah. There is no truth. There is no truth in him. He is like God is total love. Satan is total lie. Amen. Yes. There is no truth in him. See, we, are, we, we, all our, my, our minds is conditioned to two wires, mm. a positive and a negative. Right. <laughs> Not God. God's on a positive. Mm. Satan is the negative. Yes. Totally. Amen. So I don't care what he does. Yes. It won't change him. Amen. That's why there's no redemption for him. That's right. Amen. You can't, he can't be fixed. Because that's what he is. He is a lie. You can't dress up a lie and put new shoes on it. It's a lie. There is no truth in him. And there is no lie in God. He is. And now we are sons of God. We were caught straddle the fence, and Jesus came and put us back on the right side of the fence, and we became new creatures in Christ. We are now born. You couldn't fix the old one. You couldn't fix the old one. So he born us. He said, I must, you must be born. Wow, that's the mystery. You must be born again. And now we are new creatures in Christ, growing in the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, yes. developing mm -hmm. into where, and we were so, oh God, this, there's a mystery to this. There's such a mystery to this. It's beyond the human mind. How, see so you can't, you can't, how can I be born again and, 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 and be crucified and still exist. Mm. Don't let, don't even try it. Don't even try it. Don't, don't even try it. But the scripture says, I have been crucified. It's no longer I who live. Whoa. Who is the I who live? The one that partook of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. I don't live anymore. But Christ, yes. Yes. love, lives in me. Mm. And the life that I now live, I live in Christ, which is love. He is love. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. See, when you are doing things out of character, the old guy has resurrected in doing that. Mm -hmm. If I snap at you, somebody got out the grave. If I say something ugly to you, somebody got out the grave. Mm -hmm. And it's your job to keep them, in the, keep them in the grave. If I'm acting out of character, somebody got out the grave. Amen. Amen. See what I mean? You see how this thing works? <laughs> oh, boy, I tell you. This will keep you up a while. This will keep you up a while at night, I tell you what. But we're ready. To, see, see, if we're not going to delve into these things, we're not going to grow into these things, then, then well, well, come on. God put him in his, put this in his word. He wants us to grow. He wants us to, under, he, God doesn't want us to stay in the same spot, stay in this right little, stay in the little primary Sunday school class. Mm -hmm. No, He's, he wants us to mature. He wants us to grow in the grace and knowledge. Mm -hmm. He wants us to come and come into him and let him talk to us about who we really are. Yes, I'm a new creature. I'm this new life in Christ Jesus. I'm, I'm like God now. I'm the, way, I'm the way I was. Jesus came and fixed me. Adam 
messed me up, Jesus fixed me. I'm a new creature now. I'm one, not two. Hear you, O Israel, the Lord your God is. You know, two. <clears throat> Jesus said, I pray that you be like the Father and I are, that you all be in us. Ain't but one why. Ain't, 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 no, ain't, no, ain't no positive negative. Ain't one why. It's one why. It's one why. God is. Wow, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. I'm love. God is love. That's the glory of God that's filling this earth. That's what God is filling this earth with is love. Satan is told a lie, and he's coming, he's, he's trying to counterfeit love. Yeah. He takes the, he, in the flesh, he'll go in, in the flesh, uh, and he tries to counterfeit it, to throw the people, the children of God off. He said, well, no, no, everybody just love everybody. everybody, just, everybody. No, no, don't bring that trash over here. No, you're bringing that trash over here. Yeah. No, no, that ain't, that ain't God. Yeah, you, that's trash. Yeah. Don't bring the trash in here. Mm -hmm. you, you see what I mean? It's either Christ, you're in Christ. If you're in, in, in this order, you're going to be in Christ or you're not going to be in. Mm -hmm. In Christ. And we develop and grow into this. Oh, my God. My God. I, I see things. I know more than I can say in my, out of my mind. I know more than I can say. Because it's things of the new order. It's a new, it's a new world. I'm the, it's the new life in Christ. That I, I, Paul was in heaven. Mm -hmm. He was in paradise. And he saw things. He said, my, 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 my. Oh, yeah. I can't even say it. Yeah. Wow. I can't even say it. It's unlawful. What did this man see? I don't know yet. Notice what I said? Yet. I don't know yet. I don't know. We are growing into that. Mm -hmm. See, I have my ideas about Enoch. God said, if you draw near to me, I will draw nearer. I think Enoch just got so far out there that he just went on. He got out, he went out of sight of the earth. And he walked with God. Wow. This, this, this new life that we have in Christ Jesus, my friend, is just more than a Sunday school class. Yes, it is. This is a place where God has elevated us to. And if we'll walk with him and we will walk in him, he's going to expand us to a place that you never dream of. I'm seeing things now in Christ. I didn't, I never, nobody never told me these things. I never, I, don't, I, didn't, I never heard about these things. The thing that I'm seeing in God, I never, I, nobody never told me about them. But you can grow in this, and he will coach you and allow you to grow in this. Now, but God who is rich in mercy because of his great love mm -hmm. with which he loved us. Now, now, that's a level of love there that your head don't know anything about. Oh, see, we see we, you got. We've got to get past. See, we we always thinking right or wrong. Right, you wrong. You wrong. I'm right. I'm wrong. Right. Stop that, because you're robbing yourself. Amen. God, who is rich in mercy, yes. because of His great love, with which He loved us, even when we were dead in trespasses, when we were locked down in right and wrong. And right and wrong can't live together. Amen. You had no business over there to begin with. Right and wrong can't live together. Mm -hmm. they don't, they, and we've been trying to make them go happy. They can't. Even when we were dead in trespasses, we were dead in right and wrong. We were locked down in right and wrong. Mm -hmm. He made us alive with Christ, what did he do? He removed the right and wrong and implanted love. Implanted himself back inside of us. Single pole. 
oneness. He removed the right and wrong. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Even when we were dead. When we were in wrong, when we in dead, in what? Right and wrong. Made us alive together with Christ. By grace, I was able to do this. You have been saved. This order, this new law, the, the law of grace is ushered in. And now I can take two. And I can, I can take him and I can call him one. I take the old and I crucify him. And the new one, that's you. Stay with me, stay with me, don't lose me. The old one, the, the two pole, I get rid of it. And I bring back a single pole. And raise us up. Now you can understand this. And raise us up together and made us sit together in the heavens. There is no right and wrong. I've raised you up to where there is no right and wrong yeah. in Christ. Jesus is not right and wrong. Amen. Oh, boy. This is, listen, I, this, is pal, this is some powerful stuff. Amen. And, and I tell you, <laughs> I've now brought you back and made, gave you new life in Christ. There is no right and wrong now. There's no right and wrong in Jesus. He didn't disobey God. In Christ. See, that's what, see, if any man be, see, notice the language. From the, from the time we came again, he, he never, you, he, God will never announce you outside of Christ. Amen. Amen. He will never mention you outside of Christ. It's always in him, in whom, in Christ. Mm -hmm. In him, in whom, in Christ. Amen. If, it's not, if you're not in Christ, he don't, he don't know about you. It's in him. It's in him. It's in Christ. And you're going to have to see yourself. You are not your own. That's why he tells you that. He said, you're not your own. You've been purchased with a price. I have, I have delivered you out of what Adam did. See, when you really look at it, it's really simple. What did Adam do? He learned something that he should not have known. He found out about right and wrong. All of a sudden, he knows, I ain't got no clothing. God said, who told you that? Who told you that? God, that's, oh, God, this is powerful stuff. <laughs> you learn too much. Uh -huh. And the knowledge that was pumped into you has defeated you. <laughs> and the world still, pump, the devil still pumping knowledge into people. Mm. And everything the devil tells you, is it will defeat you. Mm -hmm. pew, pew, pew. Uh -huh. And it defeats you. Oh. It defeats you. Oh, wow. The knowledge that Satan pumped into Eve and that God defeated them. God comes to the God and he said, I, I, I was afraid. You what? Who, who, who told you that? Mm. Satan. Mm. Wow. Mm. He's coming to God and messed him up. Oh. But thank God for Jesus. Oh, Jesus. So, Jesus. so now, now this really comes to a head when you really think about it. Mm. What did Adam actually do? He learned something that he should not have known. He found out about good and evil. He should have never known that. But now once you know it, now you're responsible. And you don't have the power to take the good and dominate the evil. You can't do it. So I got to make you, I got to make you over. You got to be born again. Amen. Wow. Amen. People, that's, that's the way it is. I'm telling you. That's the way it is now. Now, you take these, you take these bits and you chew on them. Mm. 
I can't, I can't do anything. You, you know, I can't do anything. You, now you know good and evil. And you, you, you can't, because of evil, you can't, you don't know, you don't have, you don't have the, you can't dumb, you can't, it's got you. It's always there. Yeah. Yeah. You know it. You know it. And when you know something, it's different when you didn't know it. You ever say some, something like this? Okay, watch this. You ever hear people that are, they, they may go, they, 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 they may be fine, and then they go to the doctors, and the doctors tell them they had something, they got something, and then they come home depressed. Mm. Well, they had it before they left the house. Come on. Yeah. But they left the house whistling, whistling Dixie. Yeah. Why? They didn't know it. They got damaging information. They had it when they had left the house. Mm. So why didn't, they, why didn't they, what wouldn't they say when they left the house? They didn't know it. Wow. Didn't make any difference. Mm. But now you know. Yes. Now you're stuck with it. Yes, and that's what the devil is using against the world, oh, yeah. the people of God today. He is pumping information. And he got so good at it, he, he'll pump information that's not even true pump the information, and he'd tell them things, but once they, and then they hear it, and then they, they act on it, and then they, they just keep going, ah, 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 telling them stuff mm -hmm. that they don't even need to know. Right. You ever, you ever, you ever, in raising your kids, you ever, you ever, there was ever a time you just tell the kids, don't, don't even tell the kids, they, they don't need to know that. They don't need to, need to worry about it. Amen. That's thing that, that, that may be, there may be family issues that you won't even tell your kids. That's right. Well, you don't need to tell them. Amen. They don't even need to know. Amen. Well, what do you think God wants with you? That stuff that God said, you don't need to know that. Don't you know about no good and evil? Don't, don't tell them. I don't want you to learn about no good and evil. But then that, that skunk comes along and they'll tell them anyway. Uh -huh. And he told us stuff that he shouldn't have told us. Now you know. Well, you're dead. Can't do nothing with you no more. Run them out the garden. You see what he did? Okay, out, go, out, 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 out. Mm. No, get out of here. Get out of here. Mm. Can't do nothing with you no more. Oh, I can do nothing with you anymore. The only thing I can do is make you over. Mm. You must be born again like you should be back the way you should be. You, I, can't, I can't fix you. I cannot fix you. I got to make you over. Yes, sir. I can't renovate you. I got to make you anew. You must be born again. Jesus said it. I mean, dear God, you must be born again. I got to make you back where there is no right and wrong. Amen. Amen. Contaminated with right and wrong. Mm. I got to make you. That's the new life. In Christ. The new life in Christ. This new life that we have is in Christ. Not fixing the old one. Now, the right and wrong is a prison. Right and wrong is a prison because you always feel that you can't do enough right to overcome the wrong. Come on, yes. So right and wrong is a prison. It's, it's bondage. Uh -huh. God comes along and he comes up with this wonderful commodity called grace. Oh, okay. Wow. And it's so marvelous he keeps it shut up within himself before he reveals it. Mm -hmm. What this grace does is neutralize your right and wrong. Yeah. That's the best I can say it. <laughs> it neutralizes it. You know, like, uh, you know, like, uh, like baking soda will neutralize vinegar. Uh -huh. it, it, it ain't sour no more. It, it takes puff out of it. Uh -huh. Grace will neutralize your right and wrong. Yeah. And it'll make you, it, it treats you as if though there never was. And it makes you like God again. 
Because you got to grow in this. It's not something that just stamped on you. That's why he said, grow in the grace. Oh, boy, oh, boy. This is good stuff. I don't know if y'all know it or not, but this is, this is good stuff. I hope you're listening. He said, now grow in this grace. And so he, now he makes us this new, this new species. He said, for by grace you have been redeemed. You have been restored. You have been saved through faith. Forget about right and wrong. You did not have to work for us. Not of works. Verse 9 says, not of works. Yes. Don't, 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 don't come in here because if God had brought grace in and required us to do something, he, the, the problem would not have been fixed. Because oh. 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 you would say, I, 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 did, I did what you told me to do. Yeah. Right, right and wrong. Right and wrong is working here. No, 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 no. You're not going to do nothing for this. It, it doesn't make any sense. That's why it's so hard for men to receive this because it makes no sense. God, how are you going to be that good to me with me doing nothing? Uh, see, that's the way you're supposed to be. But you've been over there with that skunk so long, uh -huh. you just you think you got to act like him. That's the way I am. Mm. That you know nothing about. You lost, you forgot me. You was this way, but you went over there with that skunk, and now you forgot all about this. That's why everybody's trying to work. Everybody's trying to work. Well, God, I don't want to do something. Even once he bring us back home, we still are out there trying to work for it. I, I, I prayed three hours. <laughs> <laughs> trying, to, trying to get some Benny points on that old system. Mm. You ain't going to do nothing for this. Nothing. It says, see, number one, it's too good for your head. It's too good to be true for that old man. It's too good to be true. You can't believe it. I tell you, I, I, was, I witnessed to a guy one time, and I told him how simple it was. He just looked at me and walked away. I just can't believe that. Mm. The guy just looked at me and walked, just walked off. <laughs> no, no, no. You, that, that is. Mm. For by grace. Yeah. For by grace you have been saved through faith and that not of yourselves. It is the gift. Now, God uses this strong language. To captivate our attention. You know, you know good and right well, the only thing you can do with a gift is say thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now you know that much. Amen. So God said, this new life that I'm giving to you is a gift. Mm. And we're still having a struggle with it. Oh dear God. We're still having a struggle. This new life you have is a gift. And quit thinking about what you did. Mm. With that old right and wrong system, you get to thinking about how bad you were. You know, good and bad, right and wrong. And, th and then be robbed of the gift. No, 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 don't do that. Because my son went to the cross and he paid a price yeah. that will pay for every possible thing that you could have ever done. And it's been paid in full. So there is no reason for any of you to stand out there thinking about what you did. Mm. Because the justice of God's been satisfied. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's, see, what they did to Jesus, and he being innocent, paid for every possible thing any man could have ever done. The blood and the battering that he suffered physically, mentally, and finally spiritually. I mean, just the body battering that they did to him. Isaiah said he didn't even look like a man. He was so battered and beaten and torn. And then the emotional aspect of it. I mean, those closest to him. Can you imagine? I mean, it's okay when evil people, when the enemies do things to you, but your friends deny you. Mm. Oh, God, and start yelling and cussing. Who is that? I don't know who that is. Mm. Do you not have an idea what that does to you? Wow. Mm. And the 
very ones that's supposed to know God is the one that's doing it to him. Amen. The emotional aspect. And then he endured the three days in hell. Oh, oh. God. I, I, you, that, 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 that you, you know nothing about. Just that he, he, he ran the course. And God raised him from the dead. Wow. It's paid in full. And all you and I have to do is come to him and say thank you. It's a gift, yes. not of work. Stop trying to work for what Jesus already paid for. I mean, can you imagine, you know, somebody walking, you sitting in a restaurant and somebody pay for your lunch and all of a sudden you go, oh, I'm going to pay for my, I don't want to I'll pay for my, dude. Mm. Mm. Somebody just pay for your lunch, get up and go home and tell them thank you. It's been paid. Why are you letting the devil charge you with sin? Right. Your sin been paid for. Yes. Yes. By Jesus himself. Mm -hmm. The gift of life has been given. And all you and I have to do is just say thank you. Thank you. And say yes. You. And walk this thing out. Exert your energy in loving people and filling the earth with God's glory. Go ahead, stand to your feet. Praise Hallelujah. Praise glory Praise to God. God. Hallelujah. God. Oh, gracious Father, we bless you today. Thank you. Oh, bless the Korobon Saha. Glory to your holy name. You. Father, we so honor you today. Yeah. We honor you, Father. Praise oh, gracious Father, we honor you. Oh, we thank, you. thank you for your grace. Oh, the new life that we now have in Jesus Christ. Lord, our desire is to love others and tell them about this new life that you've given unto mankind. It's available to whosoever will. Let him come. To God be the glory. In the name of Jesus the Christ our Lord. Amen. Praise God. Thank God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Well, let's go get it done. Hallelujah.